Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 16th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. It's evening here. This is my, it's definitely a game of a Sudoku at bedtime because I'm definitely off to bed when I finish playing this game. This is the second time I've played an El Pais game, uh, expert level puzzle. Uh, I played one uh, a week or so ago and uh, enjoyed it. So uh, I'll come back for a supplementary game of from them today uh what's going on yesterday i joined blue sky what is blue sky uh it's the uh non-twitter twitter <laughs> i think that's how it's described um i was reading a lot of articles about people leaving twitter for blue sky and blue sky's membership uh, multiplying exponentially and so i thought well i'll see i actually have already joined mastodon uh, and I've been on there a while, but I haven't really done anything with it. Um, it's kind of okay, but I think the problem is that I'm my server is in Singapore, and I think that makes that has seems to have some effect on what 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 information I see. You know, um, it's a decentralized system as opposed to a kind of single point in in space. Um, anyway, so I joined Blue Sky yesterday, and. Uh, uh, it, is, it, it seems like it could be quite good. I, I see Stephen Fry is there, but he hasn't posted anything much yet. One Just one post to say hello, I think. And Susie Dent, those of you in the UK will probably know that Susie Dent is a, a wordsmith, a lexicographer, I suppose. Um, a, 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 she appears on a TV show called Countdown. And uh, she's uh, she comes up with uh, some interesting words. Um, so it looks quite good. Um, mostly, uh, my uh, mostly the feed so far is pictures of cats. Some politics. I think it's shaping up. I guess that the more you deal with it, the more it will. The algorithm will suit you, you know. But lots of uh, people very fed up with Twitter on there, and uh, you know, just decrying it's toxic. But also, uh, actually, I say a lot of cats, but actually, a lot of scientific. Uh, I don't know how it's working, you know, maybe it's the, the, the things that I clicked. Lots of posts from researchers and scientists and stuff like that. So it looks very interesting. Um, so uh, if you want to send me a message or a Sudoku puzzle or something like that, because people do occasionally send me Sudoku puzzles. Actually, the best thing is just to put the digits in, in the comments section in YouTube. But if you want to do want to get in touch, you could use the Blue Sky. I, I guess it has some kind of direct message. I don't know yet. haven't tried that yet. But uh, probably those kind of things do so. Uh, and give it a go yourself. See if you think that it's worthwhile uh, staying in there. I mean, I was never a fan of Sudoku, uh, of, of Sudoku, never a fan of um, Twitter much for years and years. I, I avoided it. Uh, I decided to join when I made this channel because I thought I might promote it a little bit but I never really did uh, any promotion of it or hardly any and so um, I just used it to read from time to time okay let's get on with the game of Sudoku then so El Pais expert level I won't say it in Spanish because I would just mess it up I'm sure we've got eights blocking down like this I'm gonna start with an eight here we've got nines blocking up here and down here we've got nines there We've got nine across here and nine down there. We've got nine in this square. Uh, can we do anything else with those eights? Yes, I forgot. I saw I saw all of this stuff while chatting to you just in a few seconds. Nice and clear. That means it's going to be difficult later on, I suspect. Just a, this nines and eights were kind of calling out like a banshee. Six blocking down here, we'll put a six into that square. Six across here, across there, and down there. Seven up to the top, this way. Uh, 
Uh, we have one blocking this square, so ones must be there, and one, oh no, that's not going to be any good, is it? It's going to give us ones in those squares. Sorry, I thought I'd seen something there, but no, not true. Actually, let's just look at this. We've got one and two there, so this has to be three and four. So four, actually four blocking up here and four across there will give me the four there. Three, four in those squares. Um, one blocking here, so there's our one in that column. This has got to be a five. This is three and five, so down here we're looking for one, two, nine. One, two, nine in different rows. <coughs> so, can't really get those just yet. Uh, well, I've noticed the one and the two in this block, and I've noticed that we don't have one or two in this row yet, so we must have a pair of one and two in those squares, meaning that these can't be one or two, right? They have to be four and five. Uh, does that mean anything to you or me? Yes four blocks up here four blocks down here and four blocks across there so there is our four and then four across here four in one of those squares four up there there's our four I actually didn't even need that did i this is a three wasn't it <coughs> yeah three across this way this way and up here Well, I seem to have uh, hit a stumbling block. So let's just wander around the Garden of Digital Delights, looking for any easy numbers that are still to be found, if there are any, indeed, if there are any.
right okay so we've got six blocking up here and six across here that puts six into one of those squares blocking up blocking up blocking across blocking across we get ourselves a six there seven that's just perfect timing because now we look at the sevens and we can get a seven in that square which we wouldn't have been able to get without our six so that's worked out very nicely going in order we could get seven across here though there's a seven seven up here seven across and seven across there so seven in that square and seven to the bottom and across then back gives us seven that's our first completed digit Okay, I uh, have six across here and six down here, don't I? Uh, I did say early on this was four and five, and so I re realize now that's got to be the eight. Uh, I think missing numbers along here one two eight nine <coughs> excuse me one two and nine are together so that must be our eight then so eight up here up here across and across that's the final digit eight seven and eight are finished
Okay, got something. Uh, two blocks up here and two blocks across here. So two is in one of these two squares. So two and nine block down here. That puts two and nine into those squares because we need two and nine in the bottom row and that leaves me just a one there. So then one back upwards gives me a one over here. One across there and one across there. There goes a digit one. Four blocks these squares here and in the top row we need a four so it's got to go there then three blocks up here it gives me a three in that square three back that way is a three here and this is going to be a five five across here puts five into that square the missing number here is two still need a two in that row in that position <clears throat> last numbers to get up here are what three five nine and can't get those yet but um, we've made good progress, I think. There's just one number missing here. We've got the five. That's going to be the five there. This is the four, because I've known we had four and five there for a long time. Still got our one, two over here that I mentioned early on, but nothing changed on that yet. We've, in fact, we've got ones in those squares there, and we've got twos in those squares there still. Ah, no, we don't two blocking down here so two in one of those squares blocking back up and two across there in fact we get ourselves two there so now two across here and across here there's our two there's our one one blocking down here and one across there for a one in this square one across here there's one two there two across there's two and two across across and down there's our two. Nine is the last number we need here. Nine blocking up <coughs> gives us nine in this square. Nine blocking up. This is a nice, easy game before bedtime. Nothing to uh, giving me consternation or anything like that. Yes, I said consternation, not constipation. Five across here. If you don't know the difference, check out Susie Dent. <laughs> Six there. Um, missing digit over here is five, I think. And what are we left with there? Three. Uh, not much more to go now. I see we still need ones. Can we get a one? There's a one blocking across here. That can't be one. That's our one. And this missing number is nine, I think. Okay, we've got five blocking down here, so there's a five, here's a four. Oh, it's all over. Oh, that was rather more straightforward than I expected. I thought it was going to be tougher than that, but okay, not not bad. Uh, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow, probably, for more Sudoku, because I, I never stop playing. You'll notice I'm like an automaton. I'm, I'm a Sudoku automaton, but one that breaks down occasionally <laughs> in its functions. Uh, it still keeps going like the like the Ener energizer bunny or something like that but you know just sometimes it uh gets stuck banging that drum i'll see you around bye bye